One day before sailing week, there is a race around Antigua. This year, among the boats entered was the 100-foot Super Maxi Scallywag. There was an incident on the start line that saw them and TP52 Zingara Conviction come together. The smaller boat won this encounter and carried on sailing to win the Peters and May race around Antigua as well. Scallywag retired with sail and rigging damage. Sailing week proper started with a flourish on Sunday. Conditions built from a modest breeze on Sunday to fresh conditions on Tuesday. The Youth to Keel program places young Antiguan sailors on yachts throughout the racing division. My name is Janella King and the boat I'll be racing on is Sajana. YTK is also known as Youth to Keel, stands for Youth to Keel and what it does, it gives young children, youths, opportunities to sail on keel boats. So they won't just limit themselves at dinghy sailing. It's actually great, a good experience for young children, young sailors and to a black female, show them that it's not only men could do all the work and girls can do it too. This week I'm gonna be racing on Sleeper. It's a J111 and this is my fifth season with them and I'm just still happy to be racing. When I first started sailing, I didn't get it right. Um, all my friends used to beat me and I just kept learning and learning and now I just won the Nationals. The white cable will also provide me, provide me with experience on keel boats so eventually I can become a captain for a boat. Graduates of the Youth to Keel program Jules Mitchell and his team on NSA Spirit are setting the bar in their Cork 1720 and taking down even bigger boats with skilled boat handling in the difficult conditions. So we went out with not much expectation of how everyone else would have been sailing and we just sailed as best as we could and we got that. <laughs> After four tough days, everyone needs a respite, so Antigua Sailing Week puts on a show. Reggae stars Junior Kelly and Christopher Martin flew in from Jamaica to play for a packed house at the 10th annual Reggae in the Park show. On Wednesday, revellers woke up late to ease into an afternoon of fun, games and relaxation on Pigeon Beach at the Wadadley Bay Lay Day. I'm out of town. There is a man where I'm supposed to be. Too late to be begging on your knees. Hand me my keys. It was a rude return to the racetrack on Thursday. Rapidly improving Lithuanian team Amber Sale on their new VO65 found opportunity on the day and celebrated when they bested their nemesis Sajana on the water for the first time ever. Today we've, we've, we've been pretty happy because that was the first time when we physically beat Sajana. The German ladies on Team Salsa really made the most of a beautiful day in the tropics. Back in A Division, Team Inca from Peru wrapped up a great week to finish fourth in CSA4. Well, what can I say about Antigua? Antigua is just great food, great people, uh, great sailing. The wind is amazing, trade wind is just amazing and, you know, very happy to be here. At Antigua Sailing Week, it often comes down to Friday. Huge seas and lots of wind ensured a lively final battle. After a great effort to repair the damage from Saturday, the Super Maxi Scallywag reappeared to lead the way home in Class 1. Lots of wind and tested skills, endurance and judgment to the very end of this long regatta.
In Antigua Sailing Week 2019, chances were taken, mistakes were made, accidents happened and hopes faded away. But for a select few, dreams came true. For only the second time in Antigua Sailing Week history, one team won three times. This year, Sajana made it a hat-trick and etched her name onto the Lord Nelson Trophy for the third time. We won this trophy last year, 2011, and now a hat-trick. Fantastic, really. We're so lucky to be able to sail in these conditions, in this environment, and the boat's gone really well this week, so boss is happy, we're happy. It's pretty cool. It was a wonderful experience. It was just unexplainable. It's amazing. First time being on such a big yacht. It was woo, incredible. <laughs> Duckyard Day marks the end of another great sailing week regatta here in Antigua.